Hi there, and welcome to this quick start guide for the Denon DJ LC6000 Prime and Serato DJ Pro. The LC6000 offers full-size jog wheels and club style control over one or multiple software decks. Let's get started. First, you'll need either a Mac or a Windows computer. Next, a compatible audio interface, mixer, or four channel DJ controller. At least one Denon DJ LC6000 Prime. To make the connections, USB cables and XLR or RCA cables to connect to your audio source. If a USB hub is needed, it is recommended to use a powered hub. If a powered hub is not available, be sure to use the LC6000's included power supply. First, connect the audio, USB, and power cables to the DJ setup. Next, connect the compatible mixer or four channel DJ controller to your computer. If needed, connect the USB hub to your computer and then connect the LC6000's into the hub. After making all the connections, power on your computer, mixer, or controller, and then the LC6000's. Now that everything is connected and powered on, open Serato DJ Pro. Once opened, Serato will detect any connected DJ hardware automatically. If this is the first time using the LC6000's with Serato DJ, you may need to choose which software deck you want the LC6000 to control. Just press one of the flashing pads to select the desired deck. You can change the deck assignment at any time by holding shift and pressing the slip button. Quickly browse through the collection areas with the select encoder and dedicated navigation buttons. To load a track, just push in on the encoder knob. You can easily instant double from another deck by quickly pushing the encoder in twice. The needle drop touch strip allows you to scrub through the track timeline to drop the playhead at the desired position. To set an auto loop, turn the loop encoder to the desired size and push in to activate. The loop is deactivated by pushing the encoder again. Use the in and out buttons to manually set loops in real time. The sensor button performs a reverse effect without disrupting the playhead position. Track skip buttons perform consecutive track loads to the next or previous song within the current track list. Quickly move through the track at fixed increments with dedicated beat jump controls. The Q and play buttons allow you to start and stop track playback. The eight performance pads offer a variety of modes from hot cues, loops, loop rolls, slicer, sampler, and more. To delete a hot cue, hold shift and press the desired pad. Activate slip mode to maintain playhead position while hot cue juggling or scratching. For pitch up or down timing adjustments, the pitch bend buttons simulate subtle jog wheel nudges in either direction. The LC6000 features a smooth 100mm pitch fader with LEDs to indicate the zero position and soft takeover direction. Press the key lock button to disable key lock and allow the track to be pitched up or down in relation to the pitch fader position. Activate sync to automatically maintain track alignment so you can focus on other creative performance elements. The vinyl button allows you to disable the jog wheel surface so the entire wheel can be used for nudging and aligning. The full-size 8.5 inch jog wheel features a LED color ring and a high definition central display. This color display shows the current track's artwork layered with playhead position and loop size. The mechanical wheel adjust allows you to set the wheel rotation resistance as light or as heavy as you prefer. As previously mentioned, the LC6000 Prime expansion controller can be used with any compatible DJ mixer or four channel DJ controller, adding full size jog wheels and club style layout to your existing setup. To learn more about the LC6000 Prime, visit denondj.com forward slash LC6000.